Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to today's uh, end of year St. Von's Mass. Uh, probably unique. Uh, well, at least I hope it is, because we don't want the coronavirus to come again. Um, it's been an eventful year, to say the least, where we've had to adjust uh, in a way that, you know, we hear the term often in an unprecedented way. And uh, God bless you for, for all you've been through and all you continue to go through over the summer holidays and the new beginnings uh, that will be yours uh, in September. Um, this Mass is often a special way for Miss Quarry, who has her own new beginning uh, when she takes up uh, her new headship. So um, this Mass is offered especially for you, Miss Quarry, and for your family, um, as well as all you boys uh, and staff members uh, back home and here present. So without further ado, let's begin our Mass. Good afternoon, everyone. For those of you watching on the live stream, my name is Edwin. I'm going to be helping us to worship using music. And um, so please join in. And the words you'll find in the video description box on YouTube. My Jesus, my Savior, Lord, there is none like you all of my days. I want to praise the wonders of your mighty love. My comfort, my shelter, tower of refuge and strength. Let every breath, all that I am, never cease to Shout to the Lord of the earth, let us sing power and majesty, praise to the King. Mountains bow down and the seas will roar at the sound of your name. I sing for joy at the work of your hands. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. So, uh, a little while before this Mass, I wanted to confirm a, a story. Uh, that story was uh, actually told to me in a homily when I was in Rome as a young seminarian about the name of uh, Bonaventura. And the story goes that um, pregnancy uh, wasn't going too well for, for Bonaventura's mum, so she asked St. Francis to to pray for the boy, and in his prayer he cried out, Buona Ventura, um, good fortune, may this boy have good fortune. And, uh, and so everything went well, he was born, and the name stuck, so old John, that was his original name, um, was renamed Bonaventura, and, uh, and I confirmed that story by typing it into Google today, and the Bonds website came up top of the list, so, um, so there we are. So as we pray for good fortune, um, also another translation for uh, the great adventure ahead, uh, we offer this Mass for you, for Miss Quarry, uh, in assurance of those promises that God gives us. To begin our celebration, we thank God for his love and his mercy as we call to mind our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Kyrie Jesus, 
Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that just as we celebrate the heavenly birthday of the Bishop St. Bonaventure, we may benefit from his great learning and constantly imitate the ardor of his charity. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. This is what I pray, kneeling before the Father, from whom every family, whether spiritual or natural, takes its name. Out of his infinite glory, may he give you the power through his spirit for your hidden self to grow strong, so that Christ may live in your hearts through faith, and then, planted in love and built on love, you will, with all the saints, have strength to grasp the breadth and the length, the height and the depth, until knowing the love of Christ, which is beyond all knowledge, you are filled with the utter fullness of God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. sinless by obeying your word I have sought you with all my heart let me not stray from your commands Lord teach me your statutes Lord teach me your statutes I treasure your promise in my heart, lest I sin against you. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. Lord, teach me your statutes. My tongue I have recounted the decrees of your lips. I rejoice to do your will as though all riches were mine. Lord, teach me your statutes. Lord, teach me statues Let's acclaim the gospel in song singing alleluia Father and he is in heaven 
You have only one teacher, the Christ. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, You must not allow yourselves to be called rabbi, since you have only one master and you are all brothers. You must call no one on earth your father, since you have only one father and he is in heaven. Nor must you allow yourselves to be called teachers, for you have only one teacher, the Christ. The greatest among you must be your servant. Anyone who exalts himself will be humbled, and anyone who humbles himself will be exalted. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. You must not allow yourselves to be called rabbi. You must call no one on earth your father. Nor must you allow yourselves to be called teachers. Sorry, teachers. What's Jesus trying to say before we get on to how he explains it? I think for the most part of our lives particularly the first half, maybe the first two-thirds of our lives, we're trying to get ahead. Um, I experienced that even as a, as a small boy, but particularly in bonds, you know, you're, you're always competing. It's natural, it's good, whether it's a sport, whether it's of maths. One of my proudest moments to this day is coming uh, top of the class in maths in year 10. Um, I was in second set and I needed, um, I needed 86% uh, to go up to top set, and I got 86% first in the class. I still talk about it today. And my roommate at the moment is the guy who came second, Will. He got 85. Tough luck to him. Um, trying to get ahead, trying to achieve a status. And it's, it's good and it's healthy as long as no one's hurt along the way, obviously. But it can only take us so far. When you're at the front of the pack, what is there to look forward to? When you get to the front of the pack, you can only look behind at all you've left, whether it be relationships, friendships, family, whatever it is. I think that's what Jesus is warning us against. You must not allow yourselves to be called rabbi, since you have only one master, and you are all brothers. To be a master is to be alone. To be a rabbi, top of the pile, is to be alone. Jesus reminds us us that whatever our wisdom, whatever our authority, if we don't stay among our brothers and sisters, we lose ourselves. We lose ourselves from everyone else, from all that makes life joyful. So don't be called a master. Use your skill and your ability to live among your brothers and sisters and improve their lives around them, as we do in our family. What about, you must call no one on earth your father? Do we have fathers at home? Maybe we do, maybe we don't. I didn't, but I was always out looking for one. And then guess what happened? I became one, you know? So talk about uh, compensation, right? But Jesus says this, you have only one father and he is in heaven. Whoever you look up to is going to be as broken and as flawed as you. And you'll find that out one day. So Jesus says, don't pressure yourself by looking up to someone and trying to be like them. You be you. And then you will glorify the only Father that matters, the one who is limitless in possibility, as he calls you to be. So be yourself. 
nor must you allow yourselves to be called teachers, for you have only one teacher, the Christ. Now, what does that mean? We've just talked about not having anyone above us or, or, or looking up to anyone as, as the be-all and end-all and, uh, and not being a, a rabbi, the master. And then we say, well, okay, we do have a teacher, it's the Christ. But maybe the first reading helps us. I'm just going to read it again. Out of his infinite glory, may he give you the power through his spirit for your hidden self to grow strong so that Christ may live in your hearts through faith and implanted in love and built on love, you will all with the saints have the strength to grasp the breadth and the length and the height and the depth. Breadth and the length and the height and the depth. It traces a cross. The Christ you're called to realize isn't the one that's depicted in pictures. He died and rose again and he's in heaven. But rather the Christ you are called to fulfill is the one who came to live in you by the power of the Holy Spirit, by the grace of your baptism. He is your only teacher and he awaits you in this world. He calls you to aspire but not to rule. He calls you to govern, but not to control. He calls you to give of yourself in perfect love. As we pray for Mrs. Quarry, she goes on. We know uh, by the grace of God she'll, she'll govern her new school uh, in that spirit. We pray for her and we pray for you boys at home as we enter into this summer holiday. Amen. So let's sing our offertory hymn together. The words are in the video description box. Be still for the presence of the Lord, the Holy One is here. Come back before him now with reverence and fear. In him no sin is found. We stand on holy ground. Be still for the presence of the Lord, the Holy Pray, my friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May, may the Lord, Lord accept, accept the sacrifice of my hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look with favor, O Lord, we pray, on the offerings we set upon this sacred altar on the feast day of blessed Bonaventure, that bestowing on us your pardon, our oblations may give honor to your name, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. 
Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. Bonaventure you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so, with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. A mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, 
And as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with Saint Bonaventure, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world, be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Alan, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. The Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. So technically we're not allowed to each other a sign of peace in the church, but if you are uh, in a safe family bubble at this moment, uh, then uh, please do offer each other a sign of peace at home. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, miserere nobis. God, you take away the sins of the world, miserere nobis, miserere nobis. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, don't
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. For many of you lads, uh, you may not have been able to get to Mass. Uh, well, you will, you will not have been able to get to Mass for the last four months because of the lockdown. And uh, perhaps some of you are missing uh, the, the, the physical presence of Jesus in your life through the gift of, of the Eucharist. Um, so at this moment, as I, if I give to communion to those present, I will say a special prayer for you of spiritual communion. But also I just want to remind you that, like, God works outside of his sacraments. He's more power, uh, powerful than the limits uh, that we have uh, in distributing the graces of the sacraments. So in this moment where others will be receiving communion, invite the Lord Jesus into your life to awaken the Christ within you uh, that will empower you to be yourself in the world uh, to the glory of God the Father in heaven. sing our communion song. The words are in the video description box. Humble thyself in the sight of the
Let us pray. Renewed by the sacred mysteries, we humbly pray, O Lord, that following the example of blessed Bonaventure, we may strive to profess what he believed and to practice what he taught through Christ our Lord. Amen. So after the, uh, the final blessing and the final hymn, stick around uh, because uh, Miss Quarry is going to come up and share a few words with us on camera um, before we sing uh, the St. Bond song. So you can't leave before you've sung that, right? So uh, just, uh, yeah, so stay tuned. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Please join in singing our final hymn, As I Kneel Before You. You'll find the words in the video description box. As I kneel before you, as I bow my head in prayer, take this day. feast day. Normally we'd be gathered together in person to celebrate today, but as you know, that, that hasn't been possible, and that's why I'm so thankful to Father James and the team for putting together such a, a beautiful mass that we can come together as boys, girls, parents, carers, staff, governors, and old Bonaventurians. Um, as we come to the end of the year, I think it's apt that we reflect on the year that's passed. It has been a little bit of a strange year at times. It's been a time of many ups and some downs. I think it's important at this time that we do remember Baptista and his family, and we continue to pray that the Holy Spirit will be there with them to guide them for the rest of their lives. Normally in our end of year liturgy, we award the service deus, award for service in the school. And this year there is, um, <clears throat> there's no surprises really. I'd like to award the service deus this year to a woman who has dedicated 20 years of her life in service to St. Bonaventures. Anyone who's had the privileged to work with her will know how special a person she is and when it comes to service 
and service to the Catholic Church and to Catholic education. She lives out that mission every day and has done for the past 20 years in St. Bonaventure's. She has helped so many boys and girls and parents over the years and everybody that you speak to speaks so highly about her. I know personally I've worked very closely with her now for 10 years and we've shared lots of good laughs and lots of tears along the way. The one thing that stands out is her passion for learning in that nothing comes before the education and the love of the boys and the girls and I know that's why that's going to stand her in such good stead going forward. So I would like to award this year's service deus to Mrs. Vivian Quarry. Thank you very much. Um, I'd like to thank Father James and the team for a beautiful Mass today. Um, on the Feast of St Bonaventure, what better way to remember 20 years of St Bons. And it's a time where I've been incredibly happy as a Bonaventurian and I will always be a Bonds girl. Um, 20 years there, the school was a very different school to the one it was when I first went there. Um, I think it's a nicer place, it's always been a beautiful place to be, but I think the compassion um, really runs through the school now and so much love in that school. Um, I've really been overwhelmed over the last few weeks with the messages that have come in from parents and former staff and pupils um, and it has been really wonderful hearing all those messages and reading them and knowing that you know perhaps I've had a, some time where I've made a difference in the lives of some young people and that's all this job is about. Um, being a teacher is the best possible job you could ever have. So young men, Bonaventurians, become teachers. You could not actually have a better career um, because it is one that is rewarding and wonderful all at the same time. Um, I would like to thank the boys in our school for just being, just being them, just being amazing, making us laugh every day, making us proud every day. To the staff that I've worked with over the years, thank you so much for all you have ever given me and the love and the compassion you have shown me. For my wonderful family, my husband and my two beautiful children, I could not do all that I've done without them, without their love, without their support. Um, to my wonderful family, my sister, my mum, my dad, all those people who have supported me over the years and I really appreciate all of that. Um, so moving on to pastures new, we all have to do it at some point and it will be a good move and I'm excited about that change but I will always, always be a Bonds girl. I will always love the boys and girls of our school. And I would always like to thank the parents of our school, the parents of the community of Newham, who are wonderful people who have supported the school for so long. Um, so, young men of faith, think of the school song. Go and, you know, go and change the world, because you have the power to do that. Um, be beautiful, be wonderful, and be the Bonds boys that you are, and be always proud to be one. Thank you. So everyone watching at home, we're going to stand, I suggest, wherever you are, and we'll sing the Bonds song in Sanctitate et Doctrina. Lift your voices nice and loud. strong and true we step up to the fight we listen care and get involved in the world a mark to make those saints of old who gave their lives to stand for all that is good with our founding father Bonaventure Give us the voice to proclaim So let us live to change the world Let us love with all our hearts To learn the truth, to guide our lives In 
sanctitate et doctrina. To strive to draw the very best from students young and old is the goal of those who work within the walls we know so well. Each bold Franciscan brother strove to raise life chances for all with the lessons calm and measured to enrich the world with good. So let us live to change the world. Let us love with all our hearts to learn the truth to guide our lives in sanctitate, in sanctitate, in sanctitate, 